Hello guys, and welcome to Water Exodus's first Let's Play ever. Um, my first Let's Play I'm going to do is Let's Play Super Castlevania 4. Uh, it was released on the Super Nintendo. Uh, this brings me back. Uh, like I said, this is my first LP. Um, the quality is probably not going to be too great. I want to get into it. I want to see if I'm good at it. I want to see if you guys like me. And then, of course, I'm going to, uh, you know, probably buy new equipment and stuff like that. But, uh, man, this game, man, it's, uh, I remember getting it as a kid. Um, but I'll talk about that later. Let's just watch the opening for now. That, I'm assuming, since I was a kid, I assume that's track it was great. And now... Thundaga. There you go. See that? See that Final Fantasy reference? <clears throat> Alright, so now we have Dracula escaping from his grave and uh, preparing to wage war with the Belmont clan. So, uh... Oh, this, you have no idea all the things we used to do. I actually used to do a recording with my older brother and our friends. Then we would play, uh, we would do voices of, uh, characters from Castlevania 4, but, uh... Let's read this, though. Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Dracula starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister actions have been consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. I'm, I'm actually reading this off the top, you know, without even looking at the screen. I've actually had this memorized. It's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family. <clears throat> but now, the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces. <clears throat> On a dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive powers over the countryside. Once again, Simon Belmont is called upon to destroy Dracula. With only his whip and courage, he sets out to, do, to restore peace to Transylvania. See, that I never got. It says, once again, Simon Belmont is called upon to destroy Dracula, when technically this is just a remake. It's, this is still the first time he actually did battle with Dracula. At least that's what I remember. Uh, you know. Alright, so let's get started with this. Let's start it up. It was released in 1991. It was created by Konami. You know, all the usual stuff. In 1991, I was, what, uh, four or five? Let's type in my name. Let's type in Exodus. That's what you guys can call me. You can call me Exodus. You can call me Water Exodus. You can call me Water, but for the most part, you guys can refer to me as Exodus. And there's Simon. He's actually whipping out a fly that got in his face. All right, so we have the entrance to the beginning of Dracula's castle. There's the chain whip. Go up these steps, you get the dagger and the sub weapon. Simon's actually, I think, the only Belmont that uh, mastered the vertical whip, the diagonal whip. In most uh, Castlevanias, up and whip uh, is what you throw your sub weapon, but in this, it's the R1 button or the R button. All right, guys. So, like I said, this is my first LP. We're uh, we're in the courtyard, right outside the barn. I guess it's a barn because there are horses in the next area, but you'll see them in the background soon enough. You go through this gate, or you fall through this hole here. But uh, yeah, I'm Exodus. Uh, I've been watching LPs for like I don't know. I would say uh, uh, eight months now. I'm a pretty heavy gamer, I mostly uh, play RPGs, but I wanted my first LP to be something simple, something I'm used to, so I figured, hey, why not? Super Castlevania 4. Who doesn't love Super Castlevania? Well, I just hate by bat. And there, that bat's ominous glowing eyes telling us not to enter, but we're going to do it anyway. Because Simon's got balls like that. Let's pick up the, uh, the boomerang. I don't really call this a cross, I call this the boomerang, because... Uh, the cross is usually different. There's an axe, doesn't matter. Get a little pot roast. Pot roast is delicious. Alright, whip, skeleton. 
Gotta watch out for that. Duck, whip, it shoots out three fireballs and it stops. There's invisibility potion. Doesn't last too long. You wanna go up here, then you wanna whip up, and boom. Done. If you fall down there, there's really nothing there. Nothing worth going down there and getting. Alright. But yeah, this game has so many memories. Uh, my brother and I loved it so much that we did a, uh, a, an audio recording series called Slogger Day, which I kind of want to post uh, on YouTube, you guys might like it, called Slogger Day, where uh, basically all the Castlevania characters act, moonwalk, act pretty stupid. Uh, my character was Death, and for some strange reason, Death was like 500 pounds. I don't get it myself, but that's what we did. Here's the double shot. So you can throw two sub-weapons. One, two. You wanna whip up. He's gonna jump up. There you go, he hit me, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so just whip this guy in the face, get rid of him. Now we're entering, like, I, I would call it a barn area. Alright, just kill those things. The green monsters. Alright, now there's gonna be horse heads, so you wanna walk, duck, Duck. Goose. Alright, whip up. Oh, Simon can also just kind of hold his whip out there. Kind of letting you know he's the ball. But yeah, I want to get into this. You know, right here there's just a heart. Alright. Like I said, this probably isn't going to be the best quality. It's probably not going to be my best work with, you know, actually talking. But uh, I'm just working the kinks out. This is more of like a test LP. Like I said, let's get a stopwatch, and let's use it. You don't want to jump on these things, because they, they will spin around and you will fall. Alright. Okay, now there's these little ghosts, just hold your whip out. And boom. And same thing. Oh crap, I missed. But it doesn't matter, because they fall for the same trick. This is going to be, I think, a heart. But I missed it. Alright, let's go. Like I said, I'm working the King out. I just got this controller and stuff like that. I'm used to playing it on the NES. This is an emulator. Can't tell. And now we're up against Rodane, the first boss. So you just want to throw daggers at him. Whip him. The brakes. Now he's going to jump. There you go. Get out of the way. Move. He breaks. Oh, he tricked us. Bam, he's dead. And now we get the power. I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, you know, it's just an orb of power that Simon collects. That's how he stays so buff. Alright, I think we'll, uh... Yeah, let's move on. Let's see the map. This is one of the other things I love about this game. The first half of the game, you're not even in the castle. You're going through, uh... Waterways, uh... Caverns. It's pretty cool. And where usually most Castlevania games just start you off in the burning village of, uh... What is it, Wallachia? I think that's how you pronounce it. And, uh, then the castle. Alright, so we're in the graveyard. But honestly, I know it's uh, a little short, but I think I'm going to stop right here. And, uh, I will catch you guys later. Again, this is Water Exodus. I'm going to talk more about myself later. I'm going to do some video blog stuff like that. But, uh, until then, it's Water Exodus signing out. Keep laughing, guys, and I hope you enjoy the video.